you know what's gonna be crazy? They gonna talk about this on first take, all these other, they gonna talk about this performance. But my thing is, bro, we already know Jimmy Butler is capable of, of shit like this, bro. Yeah, thanks. Like where where has the respect been all this time? Like we don't get the respect we deserve as a, a Heat team. Like I'm pretty sure nobody looked at this game and felt like we was gonna make it out. I think we got counted out 100% in this game. For sure. You, we got counted out since the beginning, bro. Oh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure we got counted out. Nobody expected us to win this game. And then yeah. if the Bucks win the next one, then it's gonna be, you know, the Bucks have a chance. Yeah. You know, and if this pushes to a game seven situation, I'm pretty sure they're gonna go with the Bucks. Jimmy Butler said, "This my fucking house. Playoff, Emmy, Effin Butler. You already know." So, so Bugs, we saying this officially Jimmy Butler's house right now? Yeah. <laughs> You say right, right now? now? Yeah. <laughs> of course. He should have jumped on the announcement table he and said it was he his should have. He should have. He should have did the way. Yeah, shit. I'm sure Wade would approve. Yeah, Wade would approve. What do you think we'd be right now without Jimmy Butler? Like, let's think oh, about that real oh quick. Oh my God. I don't even want to talk. Let's not talk about it. Meaning like, where's, where's and I don't wood, mean, bro? Where's I, don't... I don't got no, <laughs> yeah, I ain't got no wood right now, bro. I can't knock on plastic, bro. I no, know. but I don't, I don't mean in the sense of where will we be in this playoffs. I mean, if we never acquired him, let's say what? we went another route, right? And got somebody else. What do you think we would be right? And you think we would even be having the conversations that we have? Like with the players right now we have, that we have right now without Jimmy and we went some, uh, to another player, we would have been screwed. Cause I look at the team we have right now and when you really like look at it, nobody else fits like Jimmy Butler fits. And I'm not just saying that because Jimmy Butler scored 56 tonight. That's not and what don't, I'm saying. And don't forget when, when I don't, before we even had the YouTube channel and everything, don't forget when Jimmy Butler came, Remember, I was like, man, I don't know about this. Jimmy, there's always some controversy with uh, with Jimmy. Yeah, but we always know there's controversy with Jimmy because Jimmy is a winner, bro. If you think about wherever Jimmy went, all the issues he had was with people who didn't want to win. Think about the Carl Anthony Towns, like just having the young guys over there who, you know, probably would lose yeah. games and still be okay with it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then you think about going to the Sixers and then didn't he have to deal with the Sixers with the whole Ben Simmons thing and all that? Yeah. You know what I mean? Just think about stuff like that. And then to finally come to a place where you at a place where everybody's just a bunch of dogs and everybody's trying yeah, to win. Yeah, everybody's trying to win. Think about it. You going back to the locker room and you took a loss and everybody's laughing and kicking and joking around and stuff. I'm sure you don't want to hear that. Right. Yeah. You don't want to hear all, you don't want to hear all that. You want to be in a locker room full of winners. Like you want to win games. And I think that was the issue with Jimmy Butler. And I think that's what he was having the issues with on the other teams he was at. So I mean, people I, always look at that and they think it's toxic, but it's like, bro, because you think about what Jimmy Butler did here in Miami. Yeah. We had our we had our moments, you know what I mean? Yeah. The, from the Eric Sposter moment, like I'm pretty sure he's the the Haslam moment, like you know, there's been situations. Yeah. But it's all at the end of the day, it all boils down to him wanting to win. You know what I mean? You got to respect that. And the good thing about it is, like, I see, like, Jimmy don't want to go nowhere else but uh, play nowhere else but here. Right, yeah. And that's what it looks like. Before Jimmy came here, nobody was really, like, pushing to come here. You know what I mean? Because we, obviously, we're a big market. But ever since, you know, all that other stuff died off, nobody really wanted to come here. Like, so we got to shout out Jimmy for being the guy to see the vision. And not just seeing the vision, but being you know somebody that that's is, ready to work. You get what I'm saying because you look at the heat how we were you wouldn't want to come here unless you knew you was ready to put in the work you was ready to put in yeah because all these other players you see how they just want to go to whatever team is popping at the moment yeah. whatever team got the stars at the moment that's where they want to go but when you was looking at the heat i feel like he knew and he already saw we was gonna have to work bro yeah. we had to work that's right though like who, who what other superstar came after that and there's no there was no other superstar that really came after no, no? but for, for him to come at the moment he came yeah that showed a a lot about his character because think about where Jimmy was. You out there playing with Joel and B. You come to a Miami Heat team that don't really got no other megastar. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Besides Ben, who else did we have? You got it. Got to be somebody that's seen the vision, and he saw the vision. So you got to respect players like this. This is why I respect players like Jimmy Butler, yeah. opposed Our to top players. players what Bam, uh, 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 Drogic. Yeah, Drogic. Um, they were like our top players. Yeah, bro. Like we literally was a team full of dogs. Way off in the deep end, like usual. Get the sweat, they passed us, they doing too much. Haven't done my taxes, I'm too turned up. Virgil got a paddock on my wrist, going nuts. Get this, call me slipping once, okay, so what?